This is an experiment proving the particle wave duality of light in respect of the premier field theory put forward by David Lapointe a few years ago. And as I say on the playlist, um, David Lapointe is the new Einstein. You can see, if you haven't seen already, his three available Premier Fields episode mirror on my channel in the playlist Premier Fields. And if you did see them, watch the third episode again before watching this video. So this is a forever spin, spinning top on a spinning base, lit up by a um, arc, you get Arctic uh, Spider 3 S3 uh, laser with a wavelength of um, 445 nanometers. And this is the um, antimony sculptor uh, that is in the background of the laser uh, scene and which reflects, um, one pillar reflects on the left pillar when the spinner is not in front. As you can see there, the spinner is in front. The main light is the direct laser hit and the light on the left is the reflection on the other pillar. Now what's peculiar is that um, when the spinner takes the full laser beam, uh, you can still see the reflection on the left pillar which proves um, that the light, even though the uh, spinner takes the direct photons, uh, the light goes around the spinner and still manages to perform that reflection on the left pillar, uh, proving that photons are uh, actual primer fields as described in the primer field series with uh, magnetic fields around their um, particle and that there is a strong magnetic field that is the direct uh, wavelength related uh, size uh, of that photon but also the extended field uh, works around the spinner uh, just as it does in double slit laser interference experiments. So here is in blue and uh, red is the actual photon and uh, greater lines are the extended fields and we have a stream of photons such as in a photon cannon or a laser um, then you have all these fields building up each other and creating that um, line that you can see with the naked eye. If this photon goes through, through this double slit slice of metal, if the actual photon goes in one slit then the rest of the field goes to the other slit and that's why the photon can interfere with itself which was not explainable before the primer fields theory was put forth by uh, David Alain Laporte. Now in the light of this I let you uh, watch the whole spin in 50% speed. As you can see here the spinner takes a direct hit and you can see uh, in the background, of course the background is blurry, so the point is blown up by being blurry. However, you can see in the reflection and in the direct hit that um, there are discrete points visible in the blurry point, even though the uh, laser hit itself is out of focus which is another uh, proof of the particle slash wave nature of light and photons. You can also see that um, there is a gradation uh, in the intensity of light. Of course, when the spinner hides uh, the point from the background, the laser hit, um, the camera goes into um, exposure adjustment but uh, otherwise the reflection has a uh, regular um, intensity.
can also see there, are, there is a threshold underneath which the laser direct heat completely disappears. But beyond that threshold, depending on how much the spinner um, hides from the thickness of the beam, then there's a gradation in the intensity of the beam in the background on the antimony temple. You can also observe that um, at the limit of the spinner deflecting the beam partially and the beam direct heat will change shape to a more oblong shape um, proving that the beam itself is being um, softly pushed around and that these uh, primary fields can be uh, done are not always uh, strictly symmetric. Here you can see the direct heat not hiding the reflection in the background, proving that the larger primer fields of the laser beam move around the spinner to perform the same reflection as when there is no spinner taking the direct heat from the laser beam. So I recommend you watch um, David Lapointe's Primer Field series on my YouTube channel, it is mirrored there. And if you've seen already, watch the third one, the third episode again, before you watch this video again, so you can fully understand uh, what you see and what is now uh, proven again.